Yo, what is up everyone? So I want to go over a quick Final Fantasy 14 expansion content plan. Uh, this is to outline what we're going to be doing in Final Fantasy 14 Shadowbringers, what we're going to be focusing on, uh, and what you can see uh, in regards to the stream and how we're going to be uh, putting shit out our content with YouTube videos, podcasts, streams, and things like that. Uh, the first thing I want to discuss uh, mainly is going to be the deep dive into the story. Uh, I am definitely going to be streaming the story. Uh, I can totally understand if people are not going to be interested to watch because it's a it's a uh, spoiler alerts. Uh, so and lots of spoilers that will be happening, but I will be streaming it because uh, I think it will be a lot of fun. And I like to get deep into the story. I like to read everything. I like to listen to all the cutscenes. Uh, so the story is going to be a lot uh, that we're going to be pushing into. Uh, you know, I really want to understand the story plot. I want to learn all everything I can about the world of the first. Uh, I want to do World of Dark versus World of Light, the Warrior of Dark versus the Warrior of Light, and how Crystal Tire, how Crystal Tower ties into everything. Uh, those are gonna be like some of our points that we're really gonna be focusing on for the story, and then everything else that comes after it. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot to discuss regarding regarding this game uh, for the story. So I completely understand if you don't want to come into the stream, and that by all means, I you know you, there's nothing against that. You know there are, there are games I don't like to watch when someone's playing because I don't want this I don't want the story ruined for me. So I totally understand of why. Uh, you don't want to be in there. Uh, I, will, I will definitely always have a title on, you know, story progression to let you know I'm doing story. If I'm doing something else besides story, uh, the story, the title of the stream will definitely call that out so you can pop in and hang out. Um, the other things we'll be doing, so that's the story. So the other things we'll be doing is I want to take uh, six classes. I want to take the Gunbreaker and level that alongside the Ninja to level 80 simultaneously. Then we're going to take the Paladin and the Dancer. And level that uh, to 80 simultaneously. Actually, I'm between the Paladin and the Warrior. Uh, I've been maining a Paladin since uh, 2.0. So I'm probably going to change the Paladin to a Warrior. Uh, and move away from the Paladin and come Shadowbringers. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but I'm, whatever whatever one of those is going to be that. And it's going to be one of those tanks and the Dancer to level 80. And then it'll be the Summoner for a Caster. Uh, and the scholar for healing uh, up to level 80. Uh, I want. I, I always like having. I always like having two tanks to choose from, and then at least one melee, one caster, uh, and a uh, at least one healer. Uh, just to try and change it up and when you're playing with other people it's great to have because you already have someone who's tanking uh or doing melee dps it's always nice to have like a backup healer or caster dps so you're not always just so you're balanced you want to have a balanced composition when you're going to certain raids and specific dungeons because you don't want to be all melee you don't want to be all um you don't want to be all casting and you want to be able to be able to heal and help you help your groups out and your friends out so we'll be doing a lot of that and leveling up a lot of characters. So in between the stories, we'll be doing lots of, you know, whatever the new Palace of the Dead or Heavens and Highs, whatever the new Deep Dungeon is, we'll be definitely doing a lot of that. We'll be doing a lot of the new side quest uh, contents that it, that's coming out, so we can push out all the alts really quickly, which would be great. So all the side quests will be will, will be definitely using. We're doing lots of fate grinding uh, to level up all these characters. So it'll be very nice instead of just running dungeons until we're blue in the face. So. Uh, if we can do more, we'll definitely do more. I mean, I would love to take uh, a Dark Knight um, and a Monk up to uh, up to enough, or a Dark Knight and a Red Mage is something else I have in mind as well. I always like to have a tank. Tank is what I like to do. Tank is my main thing. I love tanking. So if we ha if we add a fourth, it will definitely be a Dark Knight and a Red Mage uh, for a second caster, and we'll see how much time we have and how much we actually get done uh, with all the streams and everything. Um, we're gonna try and do this at least part time. Uh, I'm gonna try and do this four days out of the week, five to six hours a night. Uh, we'll see, uh, and really make the because I really want to make streaming a part time gig, uh, and we're really gonna go this. Uh, full time would be great, but right now just with schedules and kids, just, and I really can't make it full time. So part time is gonna be where you go. So we we'll see how much time we can actually get into leveling. Uh, all these classes along with doing the story and along with a few other things we want to do. So after we level the Gunbreaker and after we level the Dancer, I want to jump into our full review on the classes, the mechanics, how they play, uh, what they're like, what their weaknesses are, what their strengths are, um, what I'd like, what I don't like, uh, and then add in the ones that we're also leveling uh, onto different uh, classes, onto different reviews of all the ones that are post-80. 
Uh, I would like to probably, as we're going through the whole Gunbreaker and Dancer, to really get in depth uh, as we're leveling it on stream, to really talk about the mechanics and the trigger mechanisms uh, and the Dancer and the Dancer buffs and debuffs and, and things like that, and really get a good understanding for people who might be interested in playing but don't really understand the class mechanics and really get deep into it with, uh, live on stream. If it's not going to happen live on stream, I will definitely be putting out YouTube videos like this uh, to discuss further regarding the new classes gunbreaker dancer and then anything else that i've been playing uh since 2.0 i'll put out uh, a review from comparison from 2.0 to 5.0 and post level 80. uh crafting so i want to talk i don't really have any crafters i would like to take at least two uh crafters level 80. i would like to take an alchemist and maybe some type of, of uh, a blacksmith, maybe just so I can repair my own gear. So I don't know. I, right now, I'm. I, it's probably it's actually it's probably gonna be blacksmith and culinary. I'm just gonna make my own potions and have my own food. Uh, it seems to be very important, and I can pass it out to the, the to the free company, uh, patch out the friends, uh, so I don't have to go crazy buying. You know, dropping lots of money on uh, potions and um, different types of food in the uh, market marketplace. So. On the market board so we're definitely gonna be looking into crafting at least alchemy and culinary are my two specific ones i want to level and then i want to give a review on both of them and go through the best ways to level them i know right now the best way to level crafting still is to go to go through your crafting leaves uh we'll see what happens after we hit level 70 and we're crafting and we're leveling up for our, our alchemy and uh, culinary to level 80. we'll see uh, the new dungeon, uh, excuse me, the new raid that will be releasing uh, on the path of uh, in July will be Eden Normal, and then two weeks after that will be Eden Savage. I would like to make videos on that, some guides, some mechanic videos uh, explaining how to do it, how to get through it. Uh, 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 these will be some of my first like like raid guides I ever put out, so please bear with me. Uh, before I put them out, I want to record and learn and understand what the video what, what it is, and then put out videos uh, for people to watch and get a good understanding of the actual raid what's required um, best composition if you're actually gonna be rating non party finder are you gonna be rating through you know with for a free company what your best composition would be and things like that uh, then also along with that we'll have a new dungeon reviews uh, new trial reviews and mechanics as well um, and then uh, there's gonna be a lot of content like this coming out so we'll be covering every single dungeon every single raid every single trial um, this is gonna be a part-time thing so I'm gonna do my best to put them all in. Uh, I, if I have to bump up days a little bit more, I'll bump up days a little bit more, um, and then we'll put more hours in because I really want to. I really want to give profitable and valuable content to uh, the people who you guys who are watching this because that's important to me. I want. I want to make sure that what I'm putting out for you guys. Um, is is important is uh useful usable and you're getting something out of it that you're you're spending your time valuably and not just like whatever this is useless to me uh so i definitely put out good content for you guys so that we're, we're going to be making as many guides as you can uh kind of collecting as much information as we can on all the all the uh the dungeons and the um best and best in slot weapons as we get to the end and things like that um, so let's let's talk a little bit further about this though. So Final Fantasy 14 is a vast game. Like it's huge. It's just ridiculously tremendous. There's so much to do. There's no such thing as rate there's no such thing as one end game. Um, I can't cover everything. Um, I do like housing, but I don't get into it a lot. So it's, that's something you're not gonna see in the guide. You're not gonna see housing, you're not gonna see furnishing. Um, I, I mean I might touch on it, but I'm not gonna go directly into it. Uh, so it's 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 gonna be certain things that uh, I don't touch on. Uh, it's mainly gonna be towards like you know leveling crafting leaves fate you know where the best place to fate grind is if you're looking to grind out a level uh palace you know any type of deep dungeon things like that uh you know if they have a new thing like eureka uh we'll definitely put in uh time into making content regarding those regarding reviews regarding guides and and just like that uh, but there'll be some content I just don't touch on. Um, not that I don't find it interesting. I think the housing, uh, what Final Fantasy XIV provides for housing is absolutely amazing. Um, and there'll be definitely many other people that can drop down information on that. We might touch like the basics of it, of how to go through a house and buy a house, how to get the best furnishing, you know, how to get furnishing for your house and whatnot, things like that. But probably other than that, it won't be as deep as some other people will go into. Um, Final Fantasy XIV is just, as I said before, is just huge. So I want to provide things I feel are hopefully going to be valuable to you, especially as we're coming into a brand new expansion, starting off. Some people are brand new to the game and still learning the game. Uh, and I want to be able to provide as much information as I can for everyone out there that will find it useful and helpful. Um, 
along with being so huge i feel like because the game is getting so old and there's this there's this new expansion and i'll be hype around it for a little bit which is great but this is not something as well that's going to get views uh and I'm, I'm not i don't i don't ever stream for views if i really want to stream for views i'm probably playing fortnite or PUBG or you know any type of br game really which i don't do uh I, I don't i don't play games like that i am not chasing the views i'm trying to build the community i would like to build a big community regarding mmorpgs uh final fantasy being the focus of it uh but i'm not going to be putting into really any other mmorpgs out there like i would love to do some black desert online coverage i'd love to do some um was it the the air game that's coming out the mech game whatever that game is i would like to actually put a game i would actually like to cover that but right now final fantasy 14 is gonna be the full focus of the the only mmo that i'm putting time into i cannot do two right now especially for the content i want to the videos i want to pump out uh the amount of hours i want to drop into the game so there is not gonna be anything else i know i said we're gonna be putting into any into many other games but final fantasy 14 is gonna be the sole focus uh for now uh, in terms of that, though, I think that because the game is getting older and because the expansion between there's going to be lulls between all the expan uh, all the patches, uh, we definitely need some ways to break up the content. Uh, so you can definitely see more. You can definitely can see some Destiny 2. You can see Blood Ritual. Um, um, yeah, Blood, uh, Blood Tainted Ritual at Night. Uh, then you can see some Cyberpunk 20, 2077. You'll see Neo 2 and many other single player games out there. Destiny 2 will be games like uh, Destiny 2 is going to be like you know, doing dailies, popping in, having fun, hanging out with some people. I, I might make some YouTube videos on it to discuss, you know, certain things, but it's really going to be put just to kind of break up the Final Fantasy 14 monotony uh, and really just go and, and break up the content if you have a lull uh, in the Final Fantasy 14 content. Uh, but they expect many different games like that on the on the on the YouTube channel, on the streams, uh, you know, Instagram posts and things like that. Uh, but I really want to provide as much Final Fantasy 14 content I can to you guys. That, that's my plan right now uh, is to give you a deep dive into the story, uh, level up six classes, provide reviews uh, on those six classes I level up based from where they were in Heavens more than Stormblood. Uh, and then as I level up the other ones, provide as much content as I can. The, the, the my, my thing is that the game is just getting, the game's getting old. Uh, so it will only be able to sustain, sustain so well. So we have to find ways to weave in other games. If Destiny 2 is going to be a hot game, I would like to actually get back into it. I've reinstalled it. I would like to play it a little bit. Um, the, the, uh, what is it? Blood, ta blood stained ritual of the night, excuse me, blood stained ritual of the night. I would definitely like to put more time into that and really get into depth with that game uh, and provide some uh some guides on that some best builds and uh, gear and things like that uh cyberpunk 27 cyberpunk is a game i'm looking very forward to uh when it releases uh you know we gotta we gotta get in there and bash him heads together with keanu reeves <laughs> it's gonna be rather fun uh neo 2 uh that is my dark souls i love neo 2 so when that game's drop you can definitely see us playing a lot of that lots of uh, youtube video guides on best gear best grinding areas uh so neo 2 is definitely gonna be something that would keep your eye out for and then many other single player rpgs like i, I would like to jump i would like to jump into kingdom come deliverance i would like to jump into um uh Oh, just a bunch of different uh, single player RPGs. I have a bunch of them I would actually like to get through and, and play through them. Uh, it's just, there's a bunch. I'd like to play Edge of Eternity, which is supposed to be a great turn based RPG, um, which I would love to sit down and play. Uh, but there's just so many. I, to, I need to finish I Am Setsuna, Legend of Heroes. So there's going to be a bunch of different games and that we weave in and out of Final Fantasy XIV as we're trying to get through all the different. Uh, other than content, Final Fantasy. Once, once I feel like we hit a lull, uh, we'll definitely take a back uh, a break uh, from the game. We're gonna push as much uh, raids as we can. Uh, I would like to raid twice a week uh, when the raids are out, so we can really push and get our gear. Uh, so it's gonna be, it's gonna definitely be a lot of fun. Uh, it's gonna be vast. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be a lot of work, and uh, I, I appreciate all of you supporting coming to the streams uh coming to the youtube channels commenting liking uh any of the donations on dlive uh are, are always always appreciated uh so i appreciate you guys just hanging out and chilling uh and, and making this possible so hopefully uh we can get some really good content here from final fantasy 14 uh and hopefully this plan we can stick to and really put out uh, a lot of content for you guys to make use of and get a good understanding of you know what's to come uh and, and maybe uh we're gonna cover lots of patch notes when they release uh it's another thing i want to do is like you know when when patch note comes out i would like to go live read the patch notes with you go over them discuss them uh understand them 
dispute them uh, and, and things like that. I really want to make this uh, a big community. So I'm going to end this here. Uh, I don't want to go any longer than I have to with it, uh, just to give you a synopsis of what to expect from the channel starting this Friday with, uh, with the X Channel Bringers early release. Uh, we're going to deep dive into the story right away. Uh, we're going to go straight into unlocking Gunbreaker, level him uh, as we're going bouncing between the story. So I appreciate you for stopping in, checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more things like this. If you really enjoyed it, leave a comment and how I can better uh, any type of video that I do put out or if you got any suggestions. Uh, so I do appreciate it, guys. I appreciate you all very much. I hope you all have an awesome rest of your weekend and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.